look at all those beehives. So today is an exciting day. It has been a few years since we have uh, been able to have bees and we're getting back into it. So we are here to, they, we got an email this morning said our bees were, uh, were ready, uh, ready to be picked up. And so we are here at the farm uh, to, uh, to pick up the bees, the package of bees. And I also got a beehive uh, from these guys this year. So they, uh, they've got uh, some nice beehives that, uh, that we're gonna get and uh, put together for the new homestead. So I have, I did not bring the top bar beehive. For those of you who have been following along, we used to, I built a custom top bar beehive at our old homestead. Actually, uh, two homesteads ago, I built it in the suburban homestead and we moved them to the, to the farm. Uh, I left that hive on the farm and that's for the next people that uh, wanna get into bees there. And I'm gonna try a uh, Langstroth hive here, hopefully several of them down the road, but uh, we're gonna start with one this year, see how it goes, and then we'll, we'll add on to it. So. Oh, you just hear this gentle buzzing of bees as you come up here. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. There's a lot of bees in there. And there's just bees flying everywhere. So we're in the, the farm store, the bee, the bee store here. Uh, been in here many times uh, in the spring. And uh, we'll take a look around. They've got a lot of a lot of cool stuff in here. A lot of stuff that they make themselves from beeswax and other you know uh, kind of sustainable type of uh, materials, products, and then a lot of stuff for bee harvesting in here. So uh, it's kind of a I have a long wish list when I leave here usually. Definitely interested in in doing a little bit of reading and research this time, since we have killed our bees uh, several years now. A lot of the stuff I have I do have. Uh, I've got uh, a brush already. Um, I will need to get some of the, the honey harvesting tools and other things. So uh, we'll have to work on work on those things as we uh, get into that season. This will be on the list, probably a small extractor, uh, something we can look into maybe, uh, maybe even this year if we get some honey out of these bees. And here looks like the parts to the hives that we got. So I'll have to figure out which one I ordered. I can't remember. There's just bees everywhere around here. There's... All right, here's my my buddies for the 15 minute drive home. Kind of disturbing, actually. <laughs> what if the cage breaks? Well, here's my hive. It's got a little work before I can put some bees into it. All right, well, we're home, and we've got the bees in the garage, at least. And here will be their home for the night. But we have lots of work to do. Okay, the goal for tonight is to get enough of this put together and painted so that tomorrow it will have time to dry overnight, then I can install the bees. This is the bottom. We're gonna start with that. We'll get the top done next. These are just pieces of treated landscape timbers, basically. And this sits on there, those are the, the legs. Keeps it up off the ground a little bit. And then this will be the frame that this uh, that the first box sits on, and then this is the entrance, so there'll be a gap right underneath this side. So, should be pretty simple. All right, we're gonna keep it simple. This is the new tool that I bought. It's a crown uh, stapler, and I think this is gonna work pretty good for this. So we're using one inch staples in the gun. I'm also gonna be using some Tight Bond 2 wood glue. And I've got a little brush that we'll use to put some of that on.
All right, this is the top. The top is uh, actually tongue and groove, so it should all go together pretty nicely. So the plan here is going to be to build the two deep boxes that are going to go on the bottom. And so I can get those painted today and that way I can get my bees installed. So these boxes go together uh, pretty easily. We've got these finger joints that uh, we'll, we'll just use some glue. They're also um, pre-drilled for nails. That's just the way that these came. However, I'm going to be using those staples. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, go in a little bit from those pre-drilled holes and uh, use those staples. I'm using one inch staples. This is three quarter inch uh, ponderosa pine. And so it should be able to, those nails kind of set in about a quarter inch and I'm getting another quarter inch in there. So I've got about a half inch of bite on each one plus the wood glue, which should be plenty to hold these together uh, pretty well. So that's what we're gonna be putting together next. And I wish I had a rubber mallet. That's one thing I do not have. Uh, it sure would make this a little bit nicer. So I'm just gonna be using a regular hammer, but uh, we'll use our paintbrush to get the glue in uh, all these joints and get, get a coating of glue on those before we put it together. Get it powdered together, staple, ready to paint. So let's get it all painted. Uh, I'm not sure if I really need to paint the inside of this. So my plan is to just paint the edge here of the uh, entrance where the, uh, the bees would come in and out. And then obviously I wanna make sure I paint all these uh, exposed edges. This is just plywood. So I wanna make sure I, I seal that all up. Um, I also could probably paint these um, these are landscape timbers. They're treated. They're probably fine without being painted. So uh, we'll just stick with the, the stuff that actually has to be painted. Uh, the bees will actually be on this surface on the bottom. And so I'm not going to really do a whole lot of painting on this. They'll, they'll get that all dirty and, and sealed up with wax and other things. So not worried about that. I'm just using some Bear Marquee, which is... Uh, in my opinion, the best paint out there. And so we're gonna use this. This is just exterior semi-gloss and it is uh, pure white, so. All right, so that is the hive all painted. Now we need to get some frames put together so that uh, we need to get at least 10 frames built, actually the deep frames here, with the black foundation and then some with the white foundation. And uh, we'll be using these to uh, get that put together. So once we get the frames put together, we just need to fill this bottom box. And then I'll show you how this is all gonna work once we, uh, once we get that done. But let's get the frames put together next and get, them, get the box filled. Uh, he did tell me that he likes to clip the corners of the uh, foundation right here and right here. And that just allows the bees to be able to get from one frame to the next a little bit easier.
right, let's take a look at how this, uh, how this all goes together. So I have the base. I did get a little bit of paint inside, um, but that's okay. This is the front half where the bees will come in and out, and that'll be exposed to some water, and so I wanna make sure that gets uh, sealed at least a little bit. And then on the base is gonna go one of the, the deep boxes, and this is gonna be where our frames get installed. So those will be the center four that have the black foundation Queen is going to come right in here in the middle. So I'm actually going to be using two feeders. I'm going to put an entrance feeder in here, which will just go to one side. This also acts as a little bit of an entrance reducer. I kind of have a lot of space here, so I might I might try to fill in some of this. I didn't get an actual entrance reducer and board. Uh, I didn't know if that I don't know if that came with this kit or not. I didn't get one. So uh, usually you only they only need a small space to come in and out. They don't need all this space. So I'll try to cl close that up a little bit. But one jar of uh, sugar water will sit right here and they can get in and get the access to it there. And then on the top, this is where we'll hang the queen. The queen comes in a little cage. And so we'll, we'll hang her in here. We'll put a little thumbtack to, to hang it down, her down in between here. And then we're gonna uh, probably, once we get her hung in there, we'll shake the uh, box of bees out all into the uh, hive. And then we'll replace these uh, center two frames and just kind of spread them out a little bit. And then we're going to add, this is an inner cover, so this will go in between this and the next box. Um, the bees have room to kind of come up in between this, and there's a little gap here so they can get up uh, in this area. And then we'll put another jar of sugar water right on top of this so they can access that from the bottom. And then we'll put another box on top. This is really just to house the uh, feeder for right now. Uh, eventually we'll add more frames to this box, but right now we'll leave it, leave it alone and then the cover will go on like that. And so this is kind of our, our completed starter hive. Now, after some time, they're going to start filling up these uh, bottom frames. They're going to start filling these up with comb and then they're going to need more space. And at that point, I'll take this, come and take this cover out and then we'll add this right to the top and we will fill this up with uh, frames as well, with foundation and everything, and then they'll continue to come up into this. And at that point, we'll add this queen excluder. So the queen is, is large enough where she won't come through this. And so this will exclude the queen, keep her down there. Uh, we want all the brood to be laid down there and her to hatch out her young and all that stuff in the bottom. And then we'll add another box to the top that are called honey supers. And then that is, those are shorter they because they get super heavy. And so those are a, a medium or a small box, I think, that I have to go on the top. They're shorter frames. And that's where the bees will come up and they'll continue to fill with honey. And that's what we'll take and we'll harvest at the end of the year if all goes well. So that's the plan. And that's the, the hive. I would have liked to have gotten another coat of paint on this and maybe spray it with some, some kind of polyurethane or other sealer. But I think this will be okay for... For this year, uh, I may cycle some other hives through and, and maybe get another coat of paint on this next year, but this should, this should get us through the year. We are ready to get those bees put in this hive, so let's get to work. Okay. So I, I shoved a little stick in the uh, entrance, so I reduced the entrance just that little little bit there. 
and uh, I think uh, I think everything went okay. They were just about out of food, and so I'm glad I got them in there today. And they've got two feeders, one here, one on the inside. Um, everything went pretty well. They kept getting in between my hood and my face and buzzing around, and so that was uh, <laughs> kind of uncomfortable. But uh, I didn't get stung at all. So um, they usually, especially when it's cooler outside, you know, they're they're not as as aggressive. They're they're kind of more more interested in trying to stay warm. So. But they're out uh, scouting the area. There's some flowers right next to them they've already found. I see some of them in there. They're in the feeders, they're marking the entrance, they're kicking dead bees out that got dumped in there. There's a bunch of dead bees that got, uh, were in the bottom of, the, of the, the container. Normally I just leave the container sitting right outside and hopefully you know the rest that are in there will, will find their way back into the hive tonight. So we still have a few hours of sunlight left. They have time to get oriented and, uh, and get back in there take care of the queen I am I am very excited to have bees back on the homestead it's been a couple years since we've had bees and I just love <laughs> they apparently hate me okay we'll move away from the hive they're just running into my head we are super excited to have bees back on the homestead here and uh, this will be the first of, of several hives I think that we'll have on this property uh, there's there's quite a bit of forage around here for the bees and so I think we can support um, probably two, three, maybe even four hives uh, in this area, uh, especially as we get more fruit trees and have more crops growing and other things and gardens and flowers and stuff for them to have uh, lots of food for throughout, throughout the year. So hopefully this colony will do well and uh, we'll end up with some honey this year. We'll take you guys along for updates on the hive and uh, when I finish it, I've got a lot more work to do on the other parts that need to be added on here, the honey supers and other things. And so uh, we'll take you guys along for all that good stuff. So hopefully this will help you guys out who may have bought a kit like this that you have to assemble. So at least you have an idea of how they go together. They're all pretty similar. Um, this kit I actually bought locally at uh, Turtle Bee Farms here in, um, in Cahokta, Michigan, nearby, uh, nearby city. And uh, I've talked about that many times, but I'll put a link to their website in the description and also a, an alternative option on Amazon. If you're not local here, uh, you can order these, these very similar kits on, uh, on Amazon, have them delivered, assemble it, paint it, throw some bees in, you're ready to go. Bees are just so fascinating to me. And so I'll leave you with this. Uh, don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. And of course, subscribe if this is your first time to the SSL Family Dad channel. Look forward to lots more bees, homesteading, building things, DIY projects, and anything else you could think of on a homestead. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.